Howdy everyone. So I've been working on this hinge. I'm doing the, the short piece first. If you will remember, this piece is quite short and then this hinge here is actually quite long. It's It starts past halfway and goes all the way across and down the other side. I started with the short length first because I figured if I screw it up, I'll have plenty of uh, hinge length left to make a new one and still have enough to do this one. I figured if I started with that one first and hooched it, I may not have enough to make a new one of those and do one of these. So the hinge is in place. There's no hinge pin in. All I had done was drill it and uh, pre-bent it and it looks pretty darn good for now. I don't know what the exact shape of the cowling is going to be. I don't know how this is going to fit to the cowl. So I just wanted to get it bent roughly to shape to fit the firewall, and then I can tweak it later. You can see you can see the orientation of the knuckles, how those have been sanded at angles here, and that is is shown in the plans that you need to angle the. Um, the knuckles otherwise the hinge will not drop in here if you don't do that um, and then of course I've got the holes the small holes are for the rivets and then the larger holes um, again is it's called out in the written instructions the larger holes will be for the fuel tank sealant just to have more surface area so I'll be bonding these with rivets and with fuel tank sealant I hope that's showing up. I hope that's not focusing on the my manly pink uh, bed sheet. So that's it. I recommend that you lay out all your holes first. Lay out all your holes first while the hinge is flat. Lay them out, mark them, and drill them while the hinge is flat. And then uh, work on tapering the knuckles. And then the last thing you do is is bend it. In my opinion that's the method that I used and it worked out really well so this hinge for now is done I'm going to do the exact same thing on this long hinge I'll get out my piece I'll figure out how long it needs to be cut I'll cut it while it's still flat I'll lay out my rivet holes I'll lay out my larger holes for the fuel tank sealant angle all the knuckles and then pre-bend it all right, so far so good. Talk to you guys later. Howdy, everyone. All right, so I'm back in the shop. I'm trying to figure out what I had talked about last, and I believe I was finishing up these hinges for the cowling. So the hinges are now complete, or at least the top hinges anyway are now done, meaning the half of the hinge that attaches to the cowling itself. They are cut to length. They are pre-bent. I've got the preliminary rivet holes drilled, and I've got the larger quarter-inch holes drilled for uh, a pot, or uh, I'm going to use fuel tank sealant. And I'll talk about that when I get there. They're basically just holes to give the hinge a better adhesion to the inside of the cowling with the fuel tank sealant. These uh, larger holes are for that. But as you can see, the hinges are in, bent, drilled, and I've got uh, the pins in as well. So this side is complete. I'll walk around here to the other side. And this is the other side here. The hinge pins are in, and I've got these, these ends here a little bit long, um, just so I can have something to hold on to. One thing to make note of is because the hinges themselves are bent, this one's bent and the other one is bent on the other end, the hinges will take a set into that bend. So you have to make a mental decision where you want this end of the hinge pin to lay. So you can imagine that this pin is only going to slide into here one way it's going to take this curve and you can either have this end of the hinge pin sticking out like i have it you can bend it so it's sticking down 
it's difficult to take this and now force it to go down. It's trying to work against this curve. So you have to make a mental note of how you want this curve in relation to the bend on the end of the hinge pin. Some people have them come straight down and they attach them to the firewall. I don't know if I'll do that. I've got plenty of hinge pin material to make new ones if I want to. So I could bend these so that they come down and make them longer and pin them to the firewall. I don't see a need for that. I just don't see how these pins are going to work their way out, especially with the cowling in place. I just don't see how they're going to do that. So I may just leave them like I have them here. Um, but I'm not there yet. So we'll see. Get back in there. So now that the pins and the hinges are in place, I'm going to start working on trimming the actual cowling itself. So this is my setup that I've come up with. Um, again, I'm using my, my dust collector funnel. I've got it attached to this work table. And then I've got my line run over here to my dust collector. My dust collector has always been in this corner. It's never been anywhere else. I don't see any reason to move it. So I have this set up as close as I can get it to the dust collector because I want to make use of this funnel. And of course, I still need access to some of my cabinets. So I've kind of moved over to the other side of the airplane. Here's the fuselage. I'm on this side now. Most of my work has been on the other side where my workbench is over in here. So anywho, this is the setup I've come up with so far. This is probably going to change as I get into it, but you can see that I can do the majority of my trimming with the nose pieces of the cows. The front, forward front of the pieces fit over top of the funnel nicely, so I can do what I need to do, and uh, the majority of the junk is just going to get sucked into the dust collector. Um, so that's kind of where I'm starting. I'm just reading through the instructions, which I know are lacking in detail, but you basically want to take the unmolested, uh, cowling halves and fit them together at the front. Make sure that you get the front fit nice between the two. And then you can start working on cutting off the back area to get it to actually fit the airplane. That's the gist that I get from it. So... I'm going to start trimming up the front and get these things to fit well together and uh, see how it goes. All right. Talk to you guys later.